Hey you guys, it's Ed's Tech here coming at you with a quick video on how to install Windows Phone 7 on your HTC HD2. Um, this is basically the same way to install it like on Android, uh, you know, except you have to update uh, Magalder or Magdalar. But I mean, it runs smooth, you guys. Like, you know, like really smooth. Faster than uh, Android. It runs smoother than Android. Uh, example text messages. Uh, yeah, I'm not, it's like smooth, you know. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. It's pretty simple. I'm going to have the download link in the description bar. Uh, you guys are going to need a program named WinRAR. Let's see. Here's going to be the page. Uh, that's what it's going to show. Just, you know, click start to download. It's going to download. It's about 178 megabytes around there. You guys are going to need a program named WinRAR. I'll put a link to that, too, in case you guys don't have it. Um, after you have that though, it's pretty simple you guys. Let me uh, look forward to my downloads real quick. Alright, so it's gonna... Yeah, I'm not buying it. So anyway, it's gonna have those two files. What you're first, gonna want to do is uh, when you uh, say turn your HTC H2 off, you know, remove the battery. Uh, once you're booting up... Uh, wait, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Let's make it simpler. In a second. Alright, so you guys have your HD2, right? And if it already has Android, you're fine. You have HSPL installed and all that, then nice. If not, uh, go to XDA and Google it there. Uh, you know. So anyway, you're going to pop your battery in. Hold down the volume down button. And press power. It's going to boot up into that code screen. If you guys have HSPL installed, it's going to show something like that. If not, then install that. Uh, go ahead and check out a video on how to do that since that's a whole other thing. Anyway, you're going to want to extract these two folders. Yeah, before I do anything. Yeah. Go ahead and minimize that. Where is it? Um, where is that thing? Hold up. Okay. Yeah, extract those two files into there. It's going to have three files, README, Magdalir, Magdalir 112, and Leo 70 ROM. So anyway, when your HD2 is connected, go ahead and run ROM update utility. Follow the steps there. I'm not going to do it because I already did it on mine. But anyway, just follow those steps. Once it's done that, uh, it should, you know, restart. Alright, it should restart. When it restarts, just hold on to the red button. Don't let go. You know, I, I pass that little screen, and yeah, it's gonna get to the little menu. This it should, yeah. It's gonna show. Uh, not sure if I can focus on this iPod Touch, but it's gonna show up at the very top. A Magalder version 1.12. After that, you're just gonna wanna gonna you're gonna wanna go to number four like usual, pressing the volume button down. No, number five this time. USB flasher, and uh, make sure it's connected. That's when you go ahead and run into. Uh, this uh, Leo 70 ROM, it's going to be something like that. If not, it's going to be another thing because uh, I'm sure, pretty sure I downloaded it from somewhere else. But anyway, I thought I'd just down, uh, run this thing and follow the steps down there like you did with Android. And you guys should be done. Let me go ahead and show you how fast it boots up. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to act like I restarted it. But you just, yeah. Anyway, it's going to come up with that. And while that happens, I'm going to go ahead and talk. So, uh, this thing works nice and all, except for, uh, no live services. You know, uh, like, uh, you know, saving your contacts or whatever, using Windows Live or Market Downloads. I read in a website that you can do that. Yeah, it's kind of complicated, though. I might make a video about it if I figure it out myself. But, you know, there you go, pretty quick. But, uh, yeah. And it's up and running. I really like the Zoom player on this. Anyway, uh, yeah, that live services, there's a way to enable them, something like that, but if eventually when Microsoft, like, figures, you know, figures it out and puts a ban on it and stuff, then, yeah, you're screwed. But for now, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a way. I'm going to go ahead and try to make a video on it. Uh, but, you know, if you want to revert back to Android or Windows 6.5, then just uh, go ahead and download a Windows 6.5 ROM or an Android uh, ROM and flash that using the other video I made. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Um... Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment. Uh, if other people, I'd appreciate if you guys, you know, comment and help any questions that anyone else has, you know, in case I don't have time to get on my computer or anything. 
But uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, hope you guys had a good New Year, even though that was uh, quite a bit ago. Peace.